Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay, I can leave the... I, you know what? Actually, I don't... I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question I'm telling you and you're interrupting my... Uh, like, telling you. Literally. Literally. What are you saying? You just told me you were going to kill dogs if I didn't do a 24-hour stream. Nope, did not say that. Now you're being a liar. I'm not... I just, said it! I said I'm going to tell you what I said in terms of the earlier. Are you saying you did not say that? I tried to tell you what I heard from you. And you then you called me a liar. Then you tell me. Remember, remember when Twitch was a gaming platform? <laughs> I remember. I remember that. Uh, that was the platform of the millionaire problem. Like, let's uh, go and see the domestic disputes of millionaires. Also, I thought that he threatened her dogs, but in the recording, he claims that that's not what he said. You just told me you were going to kill dogs if I didn't do a 24-hour stream. Nope, did not say that. Now you're being a liar. Now, what's interesting is that some people were shocked about this. Not, not the conversation between Amaraf and her husband, but because she has a husband. Like, no, seriously, th this is what blows my mind. When, when you have a famous actress, someone like Jennifer Lawrence, most men on the planet Earth, despite the fact that they would like her, they would never think that she is single, and they would never think that they have a chance with her. Unless they work in the same industry, unless they're an actor as well, or unless they personally met her, very few people would think that, yeah, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, yeah, I, I, I can definitely have a chance with her. I should call her up. But when they look at a streamer, for some reason, like the computer, ju just for some goddamn reason, when they see a woman over the internet, they genuinely think that not only must she be single because she doesn't mention that she has a boyfriend, they also think that they will have a shot with her. I mean, look, when you see a lady like this, all right, and she's on the internet, she has the confidence to put herself out there, and she has millions of fans, and she's a millionaire on top of that, why on earth does a pea brain teenager think that she is single and, and that... If given enough attention, maybe maybe if they give a little bit more in super chats, maybe maybe if they try a little bit more, they're going to have a chance with her. Why can't you just assume that they're in a relationship? Because they fucking are. And if they're not in a relationship, then there are probably tens of thousands of men lined up in front of you waiting to be in a relationship with her. So what I am saying here is, my dear listeners, if you are a man and you see a female streamer, automatically assume that they're in a relationship. Like, why would you think otherwise? Why, why would you believe that they are not? And obviously, you know, it goes even beyond that. Like, some aren't in a relationship, some are even married. So this particular rant is specifically catered, tailored, and dedicated only to the people that were shocked by the reveal. Alright, so up until this point of the video, I have only addressed the people that are shocked by the reveal. Everyone else who is in the know, congratulations, like you have a healthy mind, like your, your brain functions as normal. Now, the reason I bring this up is because she claims that her husband said that they should keep this a secret because it would hurt their business model. So even the streamers, the people behind them, the entertainers, they are aware of this phenomenon. Like they are aware that there is a pea brain man out there with a lizard brain who would stop donating, who would stop giving money had they find out that they're in a relationship. And this is why I encourage people, look, I'm not saying you shouldn't give money to female entertainers. What I am saying is that you should only give money if you want to promote their work, like if you're entertained by them. If they were a man and you would have given money anyway, then by all means do so. But if you donate Super Chats just to think that you're going to have a chance with these ladies, 
Think about your life, all right? Like, think about what your mother would say if she found out. Like, look, close your eyes, imagine your mother right now and her face of deep disappointment if she knew that you were giving money to other girls in, on the internet whom you've never spoken with in the hopes that you're going to have a chance with them, okay? Now, apparently, it turns out that uh, her boyfriend was abusing her. According to Amaranth, uh, he was in control of her finances, was threatening her repeatedly, and was also getting very angry with her when she would refuse to do as instructed. Yeah, man, we're like, we're in the house now. It's like, the next time when I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand? Like, what plan are you talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take a call. It's like, I can't, I'm like, I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi-Fi. I don't care. You get the call now, last chance, about to dump your luggage, you know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony, proceeding to ditch your stuff, you don't need the makeup or, th or the, the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute, buying options that expire and blasting the cash, about to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. La wow, what a temper tantrum. Now, in the stream, she also pledged to break up with her husband and said that her being single is about to be true. It comes after her allegedly demanded that she pretends to be single and commit to Hobtop streams. Now, what's interesting is that the stream ended with the voice of a woman asking uh, her if she took her medications. Hello? Hmm. Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking I I don't know. Look, the, the thing is, right now, on the internet, there are two groups of people that are emotionally invested into this, as if it's their own family members having a spat. So on one side, you have the people who do not believe Amaranth, and they're saying, well, if the guy was so concerned about maintaining secrecy, and he is very aware of when she streams, why would he call her during a stream? Which is a good question. I mean... There, there is reasons for skepticism there. Like, if it's his idea to keep their relationship a secret, why would he call in the middle of a stream? But then there's the other group of people that are 100% Team Amaranth. I mean, they 100% they believe all this. And I'm on the team that just likes to laugh at this shit. I mean, it's not my business. You know, th this is millionaire problems. I mean, sure, domestic abuse is definitely not something that I recommend, but I hope that this guy is guilty and, and is a very bad person because there's going to be a tsunami of shit coming his way. I mean, look, and this is an advice for the very few people which are married to very popular women, right? So if you're married with an actress, if you're married with a streamer, if you're married with a famous person, my advice is be very, very nice to them. Be very, very nice. They have millions of fans. Okay? When a pretty lady cries on camera, it activates the lizard male brain and sets it to protect mode. So, all of those fans, all of those people who are willing to give their money to a millionaire, are now going to be very upset. And even if this guy didn't do anything illegal, because from what I noticed, it's more like a domestic spat and a very good grounds for a divorce, but I don't think he broke any laws from what I've seen. But culturally speaking, it may be very difficult for him in the future to find a job or get employed anywhere. You know, like like if the internet finds out who this person is, and given how many people are upset right now on Twitter, chances are they will find out. I would not want to be that man. I I would not want to be that guy. So, yeah, I, I don't know what he was thinking when, when he was behaving like this. I, I don't know why 
he thought it's a good idea to encourage her to lie to millions of people and to persuade her to do hot tub streams. Um, but that's big yikes. Not, not a solid move there, buddy. Not, not a very good business model. And in the very unlikely chance that the people who are saying that this is a PR move are correct, that this must be the worst dumb motherfucker on planet Earth who would go along with something like this. Because again, if, if he was faking it, that this is just a PR move in order to gather more sympathy and you know get more subscribers or whatnot, they're going to find out the internet. Like millions of people are upset. They, they are going to find out who the gentleman is. And if he is innocent, he's still going to get punished. Not by the courts, but by social justice. And yeah, it's it's not, not a good place to be. So this is why I think it's very unlikely that this thing is staged. Because what type of imbecile would think it's a good idea to go along with something like this? Like how much money would Amorov have to pay you so that you pretend you're an abusive husband? How much do you think it would be worth and how much it would damage your life from now on. So this is why I genuinely believe her. Like, I, I honestly think that she is married and that she is being abused by her husband. Now, the only thing that I don't know is why is it any of my business? Like, why does it influence me? You know, this seems like a domestic spat between two people and hopefully two people and a judge with the upcoming divorce. And that's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. So let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the comment section. Take care.